Okay, let's see how we can compute delta y and dy. First, delta y is the exact difference between the new y value and the original y value. And dy is the approximate difference by using derivative. And this right here is called the differential. Here is our y, and x is s3, and delta x is 0 0.5. And let me give you guys a picture right here first. This right here is just going to be a parabola, and it opens up, and I say it looks like this. And we care about when x is s3, so let's say 3 is right here, and let's come back down, and we will have to find the y value, and that is right here. Well, plugging 3 into this x and that x, we see when x is 3, y will be 3 squared minus 4 times 3. And that will be negative 3, that's 9 minus 12. So this right here is negative 3. Next, delta x means the change in x. And it's positive 0 0.5, so that means we will have to go from 3 to the right 0 0.5 unit, and that will give us 3.5. And by the way, this right here is indeed equal to 4, because 4 squared minus 4 times 4 is 0. And when we have 3.5 right here, let's just come back down. And then, let's see, we go to the other side here. And we see we have to find our y value. To get the y value, do the same thing. x equals 3.5 now. Plug in, so we get y equals 3.5 squared minus 4 times 3.5. And you see, this right here is much harder to do compared to that. <laughs> and I did it for you guys, so altogether we will end up with negative 1.75. Still pretty good because this is still exact answer. <laughs> but sometimes we might not be able to get exact y value once we move around. But this one is actually pretty good. Now, with this and that, we can compute delta y, and this is just going to be the new y value minus the original y value. So that will be negative 1.75 minus the original, which is negative 3. Okay, work that out. This is 3. Minus that, we get positive 1.25. So delta y equals 1.25. And for a picture right here, it's this distance from here and right from here up here, the change in y. So that's delta y and that's 1.75. So 1.25. 1.25. Done. Okay, how can we compute dy? Well, as I mentioned earlier, we will be using derivative. And derivative is just the slope of the tangent line, right? So here's how it goes. Let's come here, and then let's draw a tangent line first. OK. Now, what we are going to do next is, look at this. This is dx. And earlier, as we mentioned it, we just went from 3 to 3.5, and that's the change in x. That's 0 0.5. Now, starting at this point here, we are going to move to the right the same amount. 0 0.5 and this time we will denote this by dx because we are on the tangent line so dx is 0 0.5 and you can see dx is the same as delta x and the reason is because you can just move the same amount of distance 0 0.5 units so this right here is the same as dx and hopefully when you are doing this kind of questions the delta x is not like a crazy number like square root of 2 or 1 over pi yeah 0 0.5 is perfect. From here, what we are going to do is, when we go from here up to the tangent line, this much distance is precisely the dy. And you see, the slope of this tangent line is just dy dx. Aha! So now this is how we are going to compute dy. Here, this is our y, which is x squared minus 4x. All we have to do is, differentiate this, and we will get dy, and we will get 2x minus 4, and then right here, we multiply by dx. That's it. And you see, if you would like, you can kind of divide this by dx, and you get a dy dx, which is the derivative. That's the idea. And now we can just draw in every num uh, all the things. dy equals 2 times x, which is 3. 
and then minus 4 and then times dx which is 0 0.5 let's see this is 6 minus 4 which is 2 2 times 0 0.5 this right here is equal to 1 so we can come back here and you see dy is actually just equal to 1 this is smaller than delta y because you do see that there is a gap from here to here so ladies and gentlemen dy in our situation is equal to 1 so that's the difference between delta y and dy and how you compute it